Hello, I'm Keetron Evans, and today, right now, you're going to learn some basic Python with me by writing a port scanner in about five minutes. Open up your Kali terminal or any Linux terminal, and let's go. So what we're gonna do here is I'm going to go ahead and show you the basics of how we write a very fundamental Python script. And it's gonna be a basic port scanner and I want you to basically just copy it, follow along, write down exactly what I'm writing in my script. Don't worry about trying to understand what a variable is or what a module is. We will go through some of these things, but I really want you to focus on just getting the code copied verbatim the way that I've got it on the screen here. And from that point, once you have a working port scanner, then you can challenge yourself to expand on it, go dig into some of this terminology, and I'll even challenge you to expand on the functionality of the script. Let's jump right into it. So what we're doing in the beginning here is we're doing an import. And basically, when we say import socket, what we're telling Python is to go ahead and bring in this functionality that's already there. So when we say import socket, what that really is, is somebody's already written pieces of code that can do things like go out and connect to the internet or go out and connect to other IPs. So as a Python developer, you don't need the right code from scratch that allows you to go out and connect to things because somebody's already written that in another module. And in this case, we're importing those functions because we're gonna need that later in our script or we're gonna need our script to be able to do those things. So first thing, we're importing socket, we're importing subprocess, and we're importing sys. Just remember, these are things that someone else at some points coded in the Python language that allows us to automate some of the stuff that we're gonna be doing. So next thing, from date, time, import date, time. What we're doing here is we really want to be able to know what the current date and time is. And the reason for that is we're gonna have the script tell us how long it took to execute. And for it to be able to do that, it's gonna to need to know, here's when I started, here's when I ended. Next, we wanna blank the screen. So if there's anything on the screen, we want to make that go away. And that's what we're doing here with basically a clear screen type function. After that, we're gonna basically ask for some basic input. We're defining remote server here as this particular function. And then we're gonna say in there, enter a remote host to scan. Now the remote server IP is gonna be the result of what you enter when it asks you to enter the remote host to scan. This could be in the form of an IP address or URL or whatever it is you happen to be wanting to scan. Next, we're gonna make it print a banner for us or give us some information about what we're doing. We're gonna basically just say, please wait, scanning remote host and then whatever the IP is that we entered when we first started the scan. Next, we're gonna check the date and time again because we need to know when the scan actually started. So we're calling T1 here, which is basically, or we're defining T1 as what the current date and time is, okay? That way we can at any point in our code say T1 and it will actually tell us what the current date and time is without us having to type out that long function date and time. That's the purpose of doing that. So next, we're gonna use another function here to specify ports. We're gonna say for port in range, this is what we call a for loop. In other words, it's a way to repeat something over and over again. That's what really a loop is, okay? For range in 1-5000, what we're doing here is we're gonna scan all ports between one and 5000. So we're gonna check that on each IP address that we scan here. The next part of this is we're using socket. Remember we up here said import socket. So now we're actually using that module that we imported and basically gonna say here, let's use that to connect to something. So now we're gonna connect to something and the something that we're gonna connect to is whatever IP address it is we entered when we started this, okay? Once we get a connection here, we need to know tell our script what to do with that connection. So in this particular example, we're gonna say control C if we want to end the script or stop the script from running, or if the script is unsuccessful in connecting, maybe you gave it an IP address that's not really there, then we need to tell the script how to respond to us. In other words, we call that error control, all right? So what happens here is we can see that we're telling it, if you get a connection, go ahead and print the information about that the IP and the ports, 
or if you can't connect, tell us, I couldn't connect to that IP or that server. That's all we're doing here. After the script is completed, we're going to call our date function again, and we're defining date and time now as T2. So we're going to call T1 and T2 and say, take T1, whatever the date and time was then, subtract that from T2, which is what the date and time is now, and that will tell us how long it took for the script to run. So we're going to take that number, print that in a message that says, scanning completed in however many seconds. That's the basic functionality of the script. Now, let me show you what happens when we actually run the script. And we give it a target. What we see is it's coming back now and telling us specifically that this particular machine at this IP or URL has exactly these ports open. So that's what a basic port scanner looks like in Python. If you really want to challenge yourself, what I'd like to see you do in your own time, see if you can figure out how to make the script not only tell us the open ports, but tell us what's actually running on those ports.